Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. Hopefully everyone is having a great day as always. In today's video, we are going to look at the 1971, 1972. We don't have a 1973. Then we go on to 1974. We don't have a 1975. We'll go on to 1976, then 77, and then 78. No mint mark Eisenhower dollar. In this video, we'll talk about why I don't have a 73 or a 75. We'll also talk about the value of all of these coins that you see in front of you right here. Now, the reason why they don't have a mint mark on them is because they were made at the Philadelphia Mint. Here's one as an example of where you would locate the mint. We've got a Denver mint mark right here on this bicentennial Eisenhower dollar. So that is where the mint mark would be located if there was one. Now, if there aren't a mint mark, that just indicates that it's from the Philadelphia mint. So that does not mean, unfortunately, that it's more valuable than the other ones. In fact, it means that it's definitely not silver, unfortunately, because all of those silvers will have a S mint mark on them located right here. And there will be some coins that have the S mint mark on them that are not actually silver. So uh, keep that in mind. These ones right here are all the copper nickel clad coins they are very very large coins but unfortunately the melt value of them based on the copper and the nickel content is going to be less than the face value so it's not something that you would hold on to just for the melt value alone now in this video we'll talk about the mintage for all of those years 71 72 74 76 77 and 78 we'll also mention why uh there are so few 1973s out there. All right, let's get right into it with a 1971. Now, the mintage of the 1971 Eisenhower dollar was 47,799,000. Now, that's not the highest mintage in the series. Uh, usually, you see very high mintages the first year that they came out. Um, differently, with the Eisenhower dollar, the mintage kind of uh, picks up the second year they came out. And the mintages are also higher with the bicentennial uh, Eisenhower dollars, as we'll get into a little bit later. Now, to determine the value of it, you have to assess the grading of the coin. Now, I'm going to give you a few different definitions of grades. There's a EF40 that stands for Extremely Fine 40. Now, the coin grading scale goes all the way up to 70. So a 40 out of a 70 means that it's lightly worn. All devices are clear, significant devices are bold, finer detail is bold and clear, but may show some evidence of light wear. Uh, unfortunately, I think this would be even below a 40. So um, to get the 40, you need to have that extremely fine condition. To get up into the mint state, you gotta get a 60 out of the 70. Uh, in a mint state, 60 is a strictly uncirculated coin. No evidence of wear on the highest point of the coin, but an ugly coin with subdued luster, noticeable contact marks in airlines, etc. So that's a mint state 60. All right, now let's get into the value. We're going to take those gradings and then we're going to apply them to the PCS price guide. Now the PCS price guide, PCS, PCGS is a, pre, is a coin grading company and they have associated prices what they recommend uh, buying and selling them for. At a mint state 63, a 1971 Eisenhower dollar is going to be worth $16. A 40, um, a EF 40 is only going to be worth face value. Once you get into the 63, 4, 5, 6, that's going to be worth more than face value. For 63, you go $16, then 26, then 90, and then 625 for a 66 out of 70. They don't have price guides for 67, 8, and 9 because uh, there are so few out there that have gotten that grade for the 1971 Eisenhower dollar. All right, now let's move on to 1972. As I alluded to earlier, 1972, the mintage actually picks up for this one compared to the previous year. So there are 75,890,000 of the 1972 no mint mark Eisenhower dollar coins that were made. Unfortunately, there aren't any errors associated with the 1972 um, other than the one little one, which is there is a couple different types of reverses associated with that with this right here so there's a couple different varieties there's the variety one where the uh 
Caribbean islands are clearly defined. And then there's the variety two, where they're kind of molded into the eastern uh, shore of the United States. So that is the one known error uh, with the Eisenhower Philadelphia mint coins is the variety one versus the variety two as far as the reversed northwest corner of the coin. Now I'll make some separate videos talking about that. So we're at 75 million right here from the 1972. Then I'm going to bring the 1974 one in the shot because we don't have any 1973s. 1973s were made for sets only. So that means the mint sold them directly to coin collectors for more than face value. And because of that, the mintages were very low because they weren't put out to the general population to be circulated and you know bought and sold with. There were 1,769,000 of the 1973 Eisenhower dollar coins that were made. Now, keep in mind the one we were looking at before, there were 75 million. So we drop off from 75 million for 1972 to 1.7 million for 1973. Very low mintages for 1973. But guess what? In 1974, we bounce right back to 27,366,000 of the no mint mark Eisenhower dollar coin for the year 1974. Now, 1975, there aren't any coins, uh, there aren't any Eisenhower dollars, there aren't any half dollars, and there aren't any quarters that are dated 1975, because in 1975, they're actually producing these coins right here, and these started to come out at the end of 1975 in preparation for the, uh, for the bicentennial celebration. Now, there is a couple of different types uh, with the 1976 as well. There is the type one and the type two. The type two is the one that you see in front of you right here, and the mintage on it are 113 million. The type one, there are just four million of them that were produced. The reverse is different for the uh, bicentennial. Let me uh, bring back the regular issue Eisenhower dollar right here. So we see the Apollo 11 insignia, which is the eagle with the olive branch uh, flying above the moon with the earth in the background. And then for the bicentennial, we have the Liberty Bell and we have the moon. So that kind of shows how far that we've come as a country. Uh, the Liberty Bell was one of the first images, uh, first kind of icons of the country representing liberty. And then the moon right there was recently after the moon landing, we kind of you know celebrated that we were able to make it from the moon make it to and from the moon all right so we talked about the mintages of the 1976 eisenhower dollar so we've got the 77 and the 78 the 77 is the rarest of the ones that i've got right here the 1977 there are only 12 million of them that were produced with the no mint mark on them 77 there were also uh, just 32 million produced at the denver mint then we move up to 1978. In 1978, there were 25,702,000 of these ones that were produced. So the lowest mintage for the Philadelphia Mint Eisenhower dollar coins is going to be the year 1977. The highest mintage in the entire series is going to be the bicentennial coin. So if you've come across a lot of these, that is the reason why, just because of their super high mintages, uh, because they withheld all the coins in 1975, and then they produced these ones in 1976. And the type two, there are 113 million of them that were made. The type one, there are four million of them made. As far as the prices on them, the, the highest value for the no mint mark Eisenhower dollar coin based on the PCGS price guide, the highest value is going to be 1974. And they have actually graded one a mint state 67. So 1974, um, let me get that one back in the shot. Where did it run off to? It's right up here. So in 1974, and I'll get you those auction results. Uh, let me just pull that up for you. So the 1974, the highest, uh, one that has ever sold at an auction sold for $4,830. That was a mint state 64 that sold in 2006 at a Amer American Numa numismatic rarities auction. Now they do have some graded at the mint state 67. Like I mentioned earlier, um, that one actually sold for less, 
excuse me, that one sold for less in 2006. I'm not sure why there, uh, but that Mint State 64 sold for more than the Mint State 67. Now the Mint State 67 sold for 4,025 compared to the Mint State 64, which sold for 4,830. Now they, uh, they're they more common at the 65 and below. You don't see very many of them graded at Mint State 65 and above. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for you to, for today. Hopefully you enjoyed looking at the 1971. Let me get them all back in the shot. 1971, yeah, 1972, 74, 76, 77, and 78 Eisenhower dollar coins. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and best of luck coin collecting out there. Enjoy.